Right now, when I want news today marks 10 years since eight lives were lost when a gunman opened fire at Hartford Distributors. Channel 3's Carolina Cruz attended today's ceremony and shares more on the tribute. Among life's unforgettable moments, there are some we'd rather never remember. I got a phone call at 7.30 in the morning that he was shot, and I knew right then in my heart he was dead. August 3, 2010, a day of heartache for Joseph Serigliano, who lost his brother. I remember that day from the minute we got up until we went to bed. Heard a lot of chatter over the scanner. I said, what's going on? He said, uh, some stuff's going down at HDI. A Hartford Distributors employee shot and killed eight of his co-workers at the Manchester Beer Distributor Warehouse. Family and friends gathered to grieve and heal every anniversary. You know, it hurts coming here, but as the day goes on, you know that you're not alone. As a group, they stand in silence for eight seconds for the eight men that died, then walk to the memorial for a prayer. And we try to get other people to talk, but it's hard for people still after 10 years to express their feelings. Craig Pepin, Pep for short, loved his daily crossword puzzles and coaching Little League. Fran Fazio Sr. wanted to be remembered in happy times, a man dedicated to his job. Louis Felder, a man with fight and compassion. Victor James lived for his grandchildren and had a zest for life that made you want to be around him. Doug Scrutton was the friend you could always count on. Bill Ackerman, a huge UConn athletics fan. Ed Kennison, a girl dad. And Brian Serigliano, the most caring brother, husband, and father. He's always in our hearts and thoughts. He was head of the union for a reason because he cared about his employees. He fought hard for him for raises and work practices. A bittersweet day for these families, a reminder of the loved ones they lost and the impact each one left behind. In Manchester, Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.